Hello and welcome to another graphic and design video. Today, using Affinity Designer, um, we are going to. I'm going to show you how to create this. Let's uh, start with a brand new document. I got a 1080p uh, kind of preset. Basically, it's a 1920 by 1080 pixels, and I'm using 300 dpi. And I'm going to unclick that transparent background because we don't need it for this one. So let's click OK. Uh, now to create those round shapes that you have um, at the top and at the bottom of the 2F, what I'm going to use is something that is uh, one of the mm, shapes that you have here in Affinity Designer is that that is a donut. Uh, to make it perfectly square, let's press in Command and Shift. Then we click and drag and we have a perfect rounded um, donut. And let's make it 220 pixels by 220 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at the thickness. I'm going to use that one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create like this. One or, or the side on the, um, on the left is horizontal and the one on the right is at uh, 45 degrees so the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to mm, give it not no fill and a border of one pixel okay so we have something like this so what i'm going to do is to duplicate this is you first select the shape that you want to duplicate press alt click and drag and we make a copy the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting first one line there so it will help me later on and to align everything. Okay, so with that done, now we're going to create a rectangle to make the, the actual lines. So I'm going to use snapping tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it there and then snap it on the other side. So as you can see, um, is actually um, snapping but I'm going to take that border and I'm going to move it three pixels up so actually there is an overlapping you will see later on why I'm doing that okay so with that one done I'm going to click on this vertical one and I need the one that is 45 degrees so again click to select press Alt, click and drag and now we have a copy now we need to rotate it 45 degrees. To do that is taking the selection handle, uh, the rotation handle at the top, press shift and drag it to get the 45 degrees. And if I move it like this, as you can see there, now I can move it to actually um, snap perfectly in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it higher so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, this shape that I got here, flip it horizontally and then flip it vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it there at the bottom, as you can see there, perfectly aligned. And then I'm going to take this one that is a 45 degrees and I'm going to make a copy. So now we select, alt, click and drag. So now we have a copy and I'm going to put it into there. Now we are it's almost perfectly aligned. There we go. And let me move it there. Now it's perfectly aligned. So let's zoom out and let's make it a little bit bigger. So now is there is no gap in between. Now for the next part is just a copy of the previous one. I'm going to speed it up. So I'll see you just now when I finish with this.
okay so now that we have this we are we are back now let me put this on in the center there now what we need to do is we need to make the small cuts we do this before we um, make everything uh, one piece now to do that I'm going to create another rectangle uh, I'm going to do something like this to make it 20 and again let me see I think it now it is going to look much better so like always is to make a copy is select the um, shape that you want to copy press alt keep alt press click and drag and now you have a copy so let's put them all in their places okay this one is the easiest one so i'm going to do it quite quickly uh, remember it's always the one that is on top minus in the uh, that actually subtract to the one that is under uh, underneath okay so up to the so far so good now the main problem is going to be these ones that are at 45 degrees so if you try to do it by hand it's going to be quite complicated so we are going to use a little trick so what i'm going to do is i'm going to place them first uh, horizontally or ver sorry vertically so I'm going to drag this one and I'm going to place it in there then alt click and drag and I'm going to place it in there and I'm going to do the same thing for the other ones okay now that we have them there I'm going to make it let me zoom a little bit there I'm going to make it a little bit taller you'll see now why and this one I'm going to make it taller in that in this uh, upward direction and this one taller in the downward direction so now we are going to use a small little trick remember always to use um, your snapping uh, activated so selecting one of those uh, what I'm going to do is I'm coming here to the top bar and you'll see that you have the corners absolute sides okay on all these icons the first one is enable transform origin and i'm going to click there when you click there appears this um, um, symbol there that is actually the rotation center so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click and drag and i'm going to place it on the intersection as you can see it becomes yellow when you are actually on the intersection so i'm going to do the same for this one but on the intersection at the bottom make sure that is there that is fine and then what i'm going to do is the same thing for this one so you click drag it uh, to the intersection so click and drag to the intersection make sure that is perfectly aligned good now let's start with this one if now i need to rotate this one so what i'm going to do i'm coming to the rotation handle press shift so you have 15 degrees steps to rotate and you do the same thing with all of them and now as you can see they are all actually um, aligned is the best way that i find out to make it actually fast so now is the one that we need to cut is the ones that are coming vertically so i am take this one and i select one of mm, the shapes for the cut click again and this one there minus there we go perfect now we need to make everything one so if everything is okay and there is no gap should be fine perfect and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to make it one there we go and now we can make it smaller something like that we can give it a fill of black and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to shift it uh, more or less 12 degrees something like that and let's place it in the middle okay so basically that is our shape 
let me create just only a circle so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a circle let's command and shift click and drag to make it perfectly round no fill and I'm going to choose the border of 5 pixels so uh, let, nah, let me 8 there we go something a little bit more substantial now we can move it we can click and drag over all of them and last selected now let's use margin so center on the page and what I'm going to do is this one I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and maybe we can put it somewhere somewhere there I think it's going to be fine and this one maybe we can move it or rotate it a little bit more select all of them and let's make them in the middle back again and now we can group all these and basically there you are this is the actual symbol thank you very much for being up to here i hope you like it um, if you have any other ideas or you think it can be done differently just let me know in the comment section down below thank you very much and see you in the next video